Did you know the folklore of lilacs? And do you want to know five fun facts about parakeets? Hey my friends, welcome back. My name is Giselle. If you're new here, welcome. On this channel, I do draw with me videos, step-by-step -step videos, inking, teaching tips, and so much more. Here's a place you can relax and forget your troubles and the world around you for just a few minutes of your day. In this video, I will show you how to draw a parakeet, some loose lilacs, some daisies, and another parakeet. Let's get started. Let's start by drawing the parakeet. I'm creating a circle for the head and a bean shape for the body of the parakeet using a blue pencil. Always draw lightly at first. Then draw an upside down triangle for the beak. Draw a light line to measure out the distance for the eyes. Draw an open ended odd shaped triangle for the wing and tail and add some loose feathers. Slow down the video if I'm going too fast for you. Add some of your own features to your parakeet to give its own character. Don't worry if yours is not like mine or it doesn't come out like mine. You can always redraw the doodle if you'd like. Once you have sketched the parakeet, go under the belly area of the bird to draw two horizontal lines coming towards you for the bird's perch. Draw a small circle for the tip of the perch. I like to add a few feathers or a curl at the top of the parakeet's head to give it some character. Make sure to add a small claw on the perch as well. Remember, this bird is stylistic and not realistic. After all, it's a doodle. I think this bird looks sweet with the messy feathers on his head or her head. Let's draw a few lilac buds on a branch. You can start by drawing a few small circles to create your lilac buds. Remember, these lilacs are not realistic flowers. They are stylistic flowers, so you can draw them as loosely as you'd like. You can also draw a cone shape to help you guide you on how to lay out the lilacs on the branch. Once you have drawn the lilac buds, draw a few leaves to add to the branch. Let's start inking and using a micron pen and add a little color to the cheeks of this little stylistic bird. The supplies are in the description box below. Let me tell you five fun facts about parakeets. Number one, they mate for life. Number two, they are social animals. They like to be around others, parakeets, and people. Number three, when it stands on one foot, it's relaxing. Number four, if a parakeet hops or sings, it's happy. And number five, parakeets can be taught a large vocabulary, believe it or not. If you like this video, now is the time to click that like button. Let me share a few facts and folklore about the lilacs. In Greek mythology, it has been said that a lovely nymph named Syringa was so beautiful, a forest god named Pan became enamored by Syringa's beauty. He fell hopelessly in love with Syringa. Fearing his advancements, Syringa turned herself into a lilac bush to hide from him. It has been said that lilacs symbolize love. Purple lilacs represent the first emotion of love, and white lilacs represent youthful innocence and memories. Lilacs are also associated with Easter, 
because the flowers bloom during Easter. Another known fact about lilacs. The Lilac Festival in Highland Park, Rochester, New York started in 1898, which is the longest running festival in North America. It features 1,200 shrubs and has over 200 varieties of lilacs and other flowers, trees and shrubs. Many of the lilacs in the festival were grown in Rochester. The Rochester Festival has the largest variety of lilacs and draws over 500,000 visitors from May 8th to May 17th. Now you know. On to the next little parakeet that you can draw and slow down the video to follow along with me. You can make this drawing into a card or a postcard or even a bookmark. I drew some daisies loosely around the parakeet. Remember you can always slow down this video to watch it in normal speed so you can see how I drew the flowers, the parakeet, the vine along the perch and the perch itself. Now I think it's time for a positive quote. Better to illuminate than merely to shine to deliver to others contemplated truths than merely to contemplate by Thomas Aquinas.
If you enjoyed watching this video and would like to see more videos like this one, please subscribe and hit that bell icon so you won't miss out on any future videos. God bless and thank you for sharing a piece of your day with me. Bye-bye. See you next time.